Hey guys, so I want to show you something really cool in, what else, PowerShell. Um, this is how to copy files from one place to another, but it's a very special kind of file copy. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard about the BITS protocol, but the BITS protocol stands for uh, Background Intelligent transfer service bits and it's the same service that Microsoft uses to download files to your computer M more specifically like Windows updates files um, and well what's so special about this well the cool thing or I guess the intelligent part of it is that it'll only utilize the unused portion of your network capacity so Basically, if let's say there's a bunch of applications on your computer uh, downloading stuff, maybe you're doing BitTorrent or something, if it's using 70% of your network card's capacity, then uh, bits transfers will only use that remaining 30%. So it, it won't fight um, other applications to try to use the network resources. So that way you can transfer stuff even even very large stuff without impacting the performance of other applications on your machine and I guess uh, a real-world example of using this would be like if you're in a uh, network environment with a file server and lots of people are using this file server throughout the day well if you go in and start making really big file transfers and stuff and it starts to slow them down you're obviously gonna start getting calls for support and you know nobody wants to get more calls for support so if you need to maybe move backups or or just move files from one uh, server to the next one um, this is a really efficient way of doing it so let's look at how to do a really simple bits transfer now I don't have another computer set up for me to transfer uh, from computer to computer uh, so we're just gonna transfer something from my desktop to a folder on the other desktop and then maybe in some other videos I'll, I'll do some more advanced stuff and, and show how you can do automations and checks uh, so how do we start a bits transfer well what you need to do first is import the bits transfer module it's not um, it's not automatically loaded in PowerShell so what you do is you say import module uh, bits transfer we run it and now we should have a whole bunch of new commandlets so I'm gonna do get command and I'm gonna give it a name and I'm gonna say give me all the commandlets with the word bits in it so when I run that you'll see that I have a whole bunch of new commandlets that were not there before I imported it so the only one we really need to use right now is start bits transfer that's the simplest way to just start it and up here I already have it uh, start bits transfer I'm giving it a one gigabyte uh, garbage file on my desktop and I'm just gonna put it to another uh, folder on the desktop so let's run that and you'll see if you run it in the ISC it gives you this nice little GUI that says background intelligent transfer service is transferring um, now the thing to also note is that it does not give you uh, control of the console until the transfer finishes so that's one thing to note um, and this obviously isn't you know doing any of that network stuff because I'm just going from one place in my hard drive to the other but if I was transferring this to another computer then it would actually utilize the intelligence of monitoring uh, the resources on my machine so that's it uh, I guess I can open up that folder for you and show you here is my one gigabyte zip file and that was it so you can you can start playing with bits transfer transfers and uh, I'll, I'll probably make an, another video I, I like this this bit transfer stuff a lot so I think I'm gonna do something else but that's it for now thanks for watching